Now where is my black pearl? I, wait, I see something. What the heck is that thing? Is that my ship? Looks like my ship. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to King of Seas. I am gentlemen, today, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a look at the action rowing playing game set in a world of pirates. An epic adventure set in a fantasy world. What exactly you're gonna be doing over here? You'll be sailing a magnificent ship. You'll be looking for gold. You'll be looking for tribute. You'll be looking for fame. And in the end, I, I don't know. We'll see. The key has been supplied. Well, and you better hold on to it. From Gaze, Planet and Gentlemen, you know them exactly. They've already uh, provided us with a few keys on the channel. They are, I am basically a partner with them for some quite time. So if you're interested in getting yourself games, if you're interested in getting yourself some good quality games with great prices, there's gonna be a link in the description below that also acts as a ref link. So by using that thing, you'll be able to support the channel itself. But for now though, let us roll into the fantasy world of pirates. Shall we? So back it up boys, because I'm about to start an epic adventure and I'm gonna be honest with you This game reminds me a little bit of something I used to play as a kid called Sid Meier's Pirates and well, I got only good memories of that game and I hope that this actually will be uh, like the modern time uh, Sid Meier's Pirates, like it will find new fans that will enjoy it and will embark on this epic, epic adventure itself. But first things first, let us pick ourselves a difficulty. So ships boy, for novices who want to enjoy the game experience without too much worries. Bonus for cannon damage, okay. Bounty calculation bonus 100%, if your ship sinks, the inventory won't be lost. The gunner, for new sailors. Captain, for more talented captains who want to enjoy a more exciting adventure in the seas of challenge. Alright, a Corsair. For the most experienced captains of the seven seas who want to dive with an adventure full of dangers. If you lose the ship, if you lost both, you have to recover the equipment. Oh no! And then the king of seas himself. Only the players who are not afraid of the most violent storms, the bravest of the seven seas, should set sail for this adventure. And this one goes with the permadeath. Let's try to do it as a captain for now, shall we? And look at that! You're supposed to pick yourself a character. Mario is the daughter of the King of Seas, resident in the palace surrounded by seven servants. Her favorite pastime is to sneak out of her room to play dice in the taverns without his father's knowledge, of course. She prefers learning the art of combat than perfection, perfecting her diction, okay? She has always dreamed of having a pet parrot. And then you have apparently her brother. Lucky is the son of the King of Seas. Bored with his life at the court, Lucky secretly trains to use a pistol. Bold and brave, at the age of six, he set fire to the royal kitchens while playing with gunpowder. <laughs> Everyone at court seems to turn a blind eye to his little mischiefs. He's the king's son, after all. Sure, let's go with that one, because why not, right? King of Seas. Actually, they're supposed to be kings. There's like kings. In the middle of the ocean, many years ago, within the crystal clear waters and green archipelagos, where communities of ancient navy sailors traded, surrounded by thousands of dangers. At that time, pirate law was in force on the Seven Seas, and shamans shaped the world with fearsome voodoo rituals. But a bloody battle changed fate forever. The fight between pirates and navy sailors inflamed the sky for endless days and nights. In the end, the sailors prevailed, decimating the last traces of magic and freeing the sea from the threat of pirates. After the battle, the triumphant navy erected an impenetrable fortress founding the 800 years old kingdom of the seven seas and vowing to maintain the conquered peace forever those few pirates who didn't bow to the will of the navy fled to the borders of the kingdom remaining faithful to their way of life today seated on the throne the descendant of a long line of rulers carefully guards the peace within the fortress. Long live the king. Long live the kingdom of the Seven Seas. Alright, 
that's pretty awesome. Now I have only one question for you. Where is the black pearl? Whoa. King's Fortress. Year 832 as fuck. Okay, well, that's that's for sure. It is a fortress. Okay, I'll, I'll have to give to the developers. They actually know how to make a bloody fortress. Holy shit. I want to build something like this in Aino, man. <laughs> I want to build something like this in Aino. <laughs> what the hell? My god! Oh, there's no void acting over here. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. <laughs> no! Supreme Admiral Brain, the ship is ready for departure. We are waiting for the captain to arrive. Captain Henry. Lucky. Sorry, I'm late. It happened again. Oh, Lucky. You spent the night out again, didn't you? Bartomeu Brian. I won't say. Alas, the day of your departure has arrived. Your father, King Alexander, has high expectation of you. We must not disappoint him. Everything is ready for your trip, Captain. The crew is already waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Bartomeu. I hope to be up for the challenge. Ah, oh, your return will be a ceremony to celebrate your coming of age. Starting from tomorrow, you begin to put my teachings into practice and participation in court decisions. A new life awaits you. I look forward to your return, Lucky. He looks like a trusty man. Marilyu, bon voyage, little brother. Wow. She has a nice dress. Holy shit. And the sword is like, I don't know, two thirds of her size? Woman, how the hell? I don't want to know what type of a grip you have, woman. I honestly don't want to know. If she has age, please tell me that she's at age, otherwise I'm gonna get banned on YouTube. Happy book, son, Marilu. Oh, Captain, let me remind you of your mission. You must deliver a shipment of gunpowder to port nearby. The journey won't take long, and the route is so safe that there will be no need to arm the ship. You will also have the Royal Navy's first mate, Robert, by your side. Good luck, Lucky. Oh yeah, I bet we can trust him. I mean, look at that face. On your orders, Captain. As your first mate, I can assure you we reach our destination in the time before tea. And curse the wave? Sure. Sure, whatever. So, Captain, let me remind you of some of the basic sailing techniques. Okay, turn, turn, move, something, something. Right. Okay, easy mode. Can I take a look around? Ah, oh, I wanted to take a look around at the fortress. This is a, this is an impressive one. Captain, you can read the steering instructions in the pass menu anytime you want. For now, the only thing I want is to, how the heck are you rotating the camera view? You must open the uh, map to find the route. Okay, I have to append it go back. Oh, hey! I'm the captain of this beautiful map. Let me explain it how it works. The red icon? That's the position of your target. You don't say. If I follow it, you never get lost. Don't be surprised if the map is incomplete. It's up to the captain to complete the during their adventures. Sure, you sank here, volcano, fort, port, point of interest, capital port, you are here. Sure, sure, why not? Okay. Take a slight turn left. Full speed ahead. My god, there are fortifications upon fortifications on this island. Holy shit. Turn! Eh, the wind can be your best ally or your worst enemy. Yeah, you don't say. There's so many characters in this game, I've already forgotten which one has which accent. Remember that they can affect your ship's speed. Always look up to the right to the compass, it will show you the wind direction. With a stand wind, a freighter will sail at a faster speed. Other boats, instead, will set something, 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 okay. I want to take a closer look at the fort, come on! Well, I can barely see the fortress over here, but wow! Wow! That thing is huge! That was sea shit! Shut up! Oh, look, I found something, I had a barrel. I wonder what's inside. Is that some type of a look or whatever? Oh, Jesus! Well, it's not loot, man. It's actually fireworks.
Good to know. Well, I can actually zoom in. No, I can't. Oh, well, that's a disappointment. Oh, wait, I can. Hey, that's a magnificent ship. Holy shit. Okay. And apparently I have to dock over here. How do I dock? Slow down. I dock it automatically. Good to know. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am honored that the king has sent you to make this very urgent delivery of gunpowder. Oh yes, such a shot. Go to the port and load it. On behalf of my village, I thank you immensely. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, well done, Captain. We can consider our first mission accomplished. We'll leave for the king's fortress tomorrow at dawn. It's like 10 minutes of sailing. Why? Why did I hear Davy Jones music? Why the sky turned it red? I can hear Davy Jones music, you know, this is... That's not good. I'm surprised we haven't seen a gigantic kraken attacking the castle. What's going on? What's all this bustle about? The cake! They found him on his throne! Dead! What? Who killed him? The healer said he was killed by a spell. They found a voodoo circle in the basement. The court of seas has been summoned for an emergency meeting. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. That is tremendously not good. Uh, it's time to go back to the base. We'll be just in time for your celebration. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any celebration around there, you know? <laughs> Just want to point it out really quick, okay. Full speed ahead, boys! Full speed ahead! Okay, make a sharp turn, right? And forward we go! Just avoid the cannons. Just avoid the cannons. Okay, I wanna can ram into other ships. No, I can't. Oh, <laughs> oh you cannot ram into them. Oh, what a disappointment. Oh, shit. Something has happened. Guys? Captain Henry, what brings you here? You can't escape, Loki. The whole capital knows what you've done. You will pay for your crime. What? What are you talking about? I witnessed Savio's ship returning to the fortress from the side entrance when it should have been out on route on the mission. We have no excuse. That's impossible. You never went back to King's Fortress after we left. You continue to deny. I hereby officially announce that the Court of the Seas imposes sentence against you. For cowardly murdering King Alexander. What? My father? Crew, take cover! Uh, guys, let's talk this thing through. I have, I can explain this thing. First of all, it's the first mate fault. Second thing, you don't want to... You want to blow up the ship with your fucking prince on board? Yeah, sure, okay, why not? I am sinking, and I forgot my fucking tire to swim around. <laughs> it is down, Captain. There is nothing left of Lucky, nor the ship. Today is a sad day for the Kingdom of Seas. Oh yeah, I bet it is. Sure. Our duty is done. Let's put it back to the, to the base. Head to the capital. Okay, no, I, I can see who's the plot first over here. I can see who's the body. Okay. Sure, sure. Oh, come on. We found the heir to the throne, Captain. Alive? Hmm. Great. Lucky only fainted. Head straight to Eagle's Den. We'll be safe there. Ah, you orders. I head quickly to my lab. We needed healing condiments. Guys? Do I need an adult? I hope I don't need an adult. Eagles then. Here, 832 as fuck. Okay. That is richly speaking a gigantic mountain with an eagle. Wow. Yay, we've arrived! Thank God! I, s I hate the smell of, the, of of this ship, you know? It stinks like a fucking old fish market. N in a not in a good way. Alas! 
You took your time waking up. Here, take this item at Fire Burns. I wanted three vials on the ship's boy's mustache to make it, so don't waste it all. Here comes the captain! I'm Captain D. Morgan. It's a pleasure to meet the former successor to the King of Seas. Your ship sunk and your crew is nowhere to be found. You're lucky we save you, otherwise you'll be at the bottom of the seas by now. But, you're a pilot. Why did you save me? The God of Seas dictates that all castaway, regardless of luck, must be rescued. Besides, I am in debt to your father. So what will become of me now? In a good situation, you can't allow the Royal Navy to find you. They'd execute on the spot. Luckily, they think you're already dead. This is the farthest reach of the kingdom, and just like us here, you are unofficially a pirate. My father is dead. It is suspect me. Yes, Lucky. And you have to find out who did it. There is still a death sentence hanging on your head. Well, that's just best way to spend your birthday, isn't it? Your dad died. He didn't went for milk for this once. Uh, yeah, I'm better now. What is this place? Uh, this is Eagles Den. The birthplace of the Kingdom of Seas. The Royal Navy abandoned centuries ago and it hasn't been marked on any map for hundreds of years. Ironically, this is now the only pirate base left in the world and the safest place for us outcasts. Welcome among the last pirates to sail those waters. I hope you have enough guts to take your new life. My new life? I've never imagined that coming of age would be like this. Well, at least you know how to use a fucking gun. That's not good. Emergency on the horizon, Captain! Within my Turbo Nuclear 3000, I spotted a Royal Navy ship moving in our direction. That's not good. Our right, captains are on the missions, and there is no one else who can intervene. Have a moment rest, eh? We cannot allow the Royal Navy to discover our base. Luckily, there is a captain without a ship right here. Lucky, take command of the sloop. You become the captain if you sink this scout ship. I'm surely going to need a ship to get back to the capital. I accept the challenge. Yeah, you better, you old fart. I mean, you old young fart. Here we go! Okay, change bullets. Start and stop repairs when the ship is stopped and out of combat. Release this side to shoot with the left cannons. Release this to shoot with the right side cannons. Okay, sounds easy enough. Let's go! Full speed ahead! Set sails! Prepare the cannons! Where's the enemy? Yo, scum pirate! Well, I don't think so. I fired the wrong side. Okay, slow down! Turn! Okay, full speed ahead. Right, if you hold... Thanks for the combat tutorial, guys. Uh, it, it was much appreciated. I learned a lot of things. Lucky! Can you hear me? I've installed a something communicator on your helm. We can talk from miles away. Everybody has one of those nowadays. The Royal Scientific Community has made some real progress lately. How do you use this contraption, Leroy? Loki, can you hear me? What can I say? You did pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah, I did so well. I did tremendously good. You win the position as the captain of that ship. Great. Thank you. Much appreciated. The soup, which boasts three guns on each side, is an agile and light sailing ship. It would be an easy to handle in the combat and outflank your enemy. Watch out for multiple ships battles. You may find yourself in trouble. I'll try to keep my ass safe away, okay? Maybe you truly have the guts to tackle whatever lies ahead. But I'm not a pirate. I must go back to the capital to prove my innocence and find out the reason for this plot. Hold your cannibals. We cannot back to King's Fortress considering the circumstances. Right now, our captains are making their way across the Seven Seas, seeking information. Patience. Unless we know more, we can afford to make any false moves. In the meantime, 
you could start paying off your debt by helping with our shipping list. Shipping list? Shopping list? Shipping? Eh? See what I did over there? Not a bad idea, Leroy. There are some matters you could help us with. We were accepted to do some work for the carpet and of the merchant company not a long ago. The port is near. The job is to deliver a load of wood. The merchant company? My ship flies a fired flag. Will I be in danger? The merchant's company tolerates pirates, unlike the Royal Navy. As long as we are peaceful, we can trade with the ports and sometimes they even hire us to get them out of trouble. What a surprise! Go to the market at Eagle's Den and buy some wood. You find it you find it once you've docked in the harbor. Alright, that sounds like an easy plan. So basically this is like a thing you have in almost any uh, like selling type of a game. You go to the port, you buy cheap, you say hi, stuff like that. Ow! I've parked! I've parked like a woman. Okay, carpenter. What, what does the carpenter do? I've never seen you around here. I'm the carpenter and my job is to polish and refuse, uh, brush your ships. Okay. Alright, so this one is... Th this one can repair me for free. Thank you! Much appreciated. Market. I've never seen you around before. I'm Ed and this is my market. I know exactly what adventures like you are searching for. You want all kinds of goods to sell and trade across the seven seas. You'll become a very rich pirate if you start trading business. Take my word for it. I don't trust you. Okay, so... Rich in protein. Pelican eggs. Chicken legs. Not worth it. Rum. Candies. Rubies. And wood. Okay, the bunch of... There's also like medicines and stuff like that. Okay, you want me to buy some wood. Uh, I think the game told me that I need to buy 10. I'm gonna buy 15. I can afford it. Okay. Rice anchor. Let's go. Full speed ahead. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Right side. Hard turn, boys. Hard turn. And... Yay. I'm very fast. Holy shit, that's so nice. Some wreckage ships on the left side. Now where is my black pearl? I, wait, I see something. What the heck is that thing? Is that my ship? Looks like my ship. See that shipwreck, Lucky? If you stop in front of second ship, you might find some beautiful treasures. It blew up. Did I actually found something? I have no idea, but I see something over here. Is that treasure? Tre wait. They've actually dropped it loot. My 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 You finally found an item to equip on your ship. You can pick it up. Okay, so I I got something. Let's see. My inventory. I what? Uh oh, marsh cannons. Right, better cannons. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I found cannons made in the marsh. I'm surprised that this thing can still shoot. But okay, whatever. I see some more loot up front. Also, I see a barrel that explodes in my face. Hold it! Interact. Found some room. Found some repair kits. Yay! Okay, avoid the barrel. Avoid the, avoid the barrel! Captain, see those explosive battles? We must not get near them. Yeah, I've already experienced that thing. Thank you so much for this, mate. Hector. You need, you need expert fishing. If there's gonna be a fucking fishing minigame, I swear to God, I'm gonna get pissed. Battle! Look out for it! One more time, baby. Oh, I see treasure! I see treasure! Slow down. Slow down. And inside. Experience. We are approaching a merchant's company port. Great! Okay, try not to slam into it. Like, try to park like a normal guy. Thank God. I have a delivery of lots of wood. <laughs> That's a good delivery. 
Excellent, excellent. I can't imagine how long I've been waiting for this. I would have bought my sailboat dimensions is unreliable and he's always trying to cheat me on the price. Nice nipples, by the way. Remember trade lesson number one. Cards can be an excellent source of income, but they don't have the same price in every port. So not be fooled by the prices at the first market you visit. Thanks, game. Join us at Eagle Den now. We have something new in store for you. It's something you find very useful in battle. A bigger ship? Consider the sort of a birthday present. Of course, it was my idea. Captain Morgan is not very good with presents. You should have seen what a disaster last Christmas was. I don't think I want to know. Leroy, get back to work. Hmm. Well, that's great. Okay, so I've lost my wood. Let's see if I can actually sell something over here. Let's see. Market. Inventory. Okay. Rum. I can sell the wood only for five. That's pretty fucking annoying. And I don't think you have anything for us to, to buy over here. Well, we got pelican eggs, which I'm not a big fan of at the moment. Right. Rise the anchor. Later, boys. I'll try not to show you as I'll be conquering the seven seas. Hey guys, I'm back! Hey! Perfect slowing down! Surprise! You thought the crystal specialist how to build a flamethrower. You trained him properly, and I'm almost sure he won't blow up your ship. Almost? <laughs> Flame tide is a very useful skill. Equip it and use it wisely. It can completely change the fate of a fight. During your adventures, you'll come across specialists with unique abilities. They can be a great help during battles, so don't under as underestimate them. Thanks, Captain. Back to us now. We have a very important mission for you. You must escort a ship to its port of destination. Be careful not to lose it and make sure to protect it from enemy attacks. What does it carry? Every every artifact and scroll on voodoo magic that ever existed. We snatched them from the Royal Navy ship. They were going to destroy them and we couldn't allow that. A port's government offered to hide the cargo. She owed us a favor or two. The voodoo's artifacts will come in very handy for our captains. And you want me to escort this you want a rookie to escort this important goods. Okay, protect the ship rocket that what? Which ship? I don't know which ship you want me to protect because I don't see it on the fucking screen. Uh, you can only use one ability at a time. Once you activate the ability, the others will begin their cooldown depending on the ability. Good to know! I don't know where the ship went. Right, so how I can equip that ship? Ooh, cargo. No, 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 no. Aha! Flame tight. This looks awesome. Okay, we'll see how that is gonna go. But that's gonna be the thing, so the man, we're gonna try to do in the future because episodes because right now I'm rocket time, my rocket time. So I'll just leave this thing as over here. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below as always. So go ahead and give it a try, me not your think, and I will see you guys at the seven seas and hopefully not at the bottom of them. But well, that's gonna be the thing for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all. In the next video.